Well, if you've been a part of the 208 like we have for the last few years or so, you've noticed, well, we love history here. Usually like weird things, love triangles, old, odd newspaper articles, that kind of stuff. History of art, though, is also compelling. There's an opportunity for you to go and check out some of Idaho history for yourself by way of art. Mark Shelver is a local artist living in Eagle. He started out as a successful graphic designer, but later he dedicated himself fully to become an artist. And it paid off because well, now he's the artist behind the new gallery show at the Initial Point Gallery in Meridian. It's called Yesterday and Today. Shaver painted pictures based on photographs from the Idaho Historical Society, showing Idaho images from, well, yesterday and today. I decided that I wanted to do something kind of special instead of just showing my existing work. I thought it'd be fascinating for me and for maybe the public to uh, sort of highlight some historical images of the past. My name is Mark Shaver, and the show is titled Yesterday and Today at the Meridian City Hall Initial Point Gallery. The show really happened when I, I started researching photographs. That's how I paint, I paint from photographs. I found just a treasure trove of really fascinating, beautiful images with the Idaho Historical Society. 1800s, early 1900s, I would say most of these pictures are from. The most inventive part of the whole process was that I had to, I wanted to add color. I didn't want to make them all just black and white images. That was a fun part of it, but I still wanted to give it kind of a old style kind of looking photograph, not bringing contemporary bright colors into it. A lot of the pictures do kind of show different forms of transportation. We got the, the covered wagon, you got the old roadster kind of car, the train was a big deal, it still is, right? Part of the thing that, that stuck with me or what I was trying to project maybe with my selection of the pictures was, you know, how different those times were and how hardy those people were and how tough those people were and, you know, their, their drive and motivation to come across the country or just those times, right? I, I was hopefully captured some of that. But it is also interesting when you look at the people in these pictures, a lot of them are close enough to see the expressions on their faces and they look real happy. I mean, you know, those were the times people, you know, a lot of good things were, were in those times too. It wasn't all struggles and strife. You know, lived great, hearty, successful lives and they made everything that we have today possible, really. So the today uh, part of the show, what I do is I go out and I just do little missions where I drive around and I'll take pictures of things that, that you know, catch my attention. I'll take a picture of an old barn or something that's even just by my house. And then next month, you know, next month it's gone. But yeah, there's, a, there's some images in the show of, of places that don't exist anymore. And, and I didn't know they were gonna go out. So I'm kind of lucky. It's almost like I'm archiving some of the history. Rockies isn't there. It's 50 years it was in business. They're kind of nostalgic almost images. A lot of my stuff is, you know, I have a certain, like if it's a house, it's probably not gonna be a real modern construction house. It's gonna be an older home and it has some history to it, you know. And, and then, you know, the way the light hits it, <laughs> that's the, everything for me. Painting really is a lot about, you know, the light and the, the shape, the colors, you know. There's so much, so many beautiful uh, places to discover and things to, to paint here. So I'm really excited about the future. Maybe there's some spots in there that you might recognize. So if you want to go take a look at it for yourself, kind of immerse yourself in some history, you can do that. The show opens tomorrow at the Initial Point Gallery, which is on the third floor of the Meridian City Hall. You can even meet Mark, the artist. Just go to the opening reception tomorrow. That's from 4.30 to 7, and it is free and open to the public. But if you can't make it tomorrow, that is fine. The gallery show will be open until the end of the month.